Hello, VNTV. Thank you for tuning in for our latest episode of our Asian American Lifestyle. Today, we have a special guest, Dr. Marty Fowler. He's an oculoplastic uh, surgeon here in San Diego, specialized in eyelid surgery. And I want to say props. Thank you, Dana, for joining us again, and glad everything you're back with us. Good afternoon, everyone, and xin chào quý vị đài truyền hình VNTV. It's been a long time, Dr. Warren. Yes, Mon. yes. Uh, nice seeing you again. <laughs> Wonderful seeing you again. And today we have that. an up close and personal talk. So yes. Please. So please, please, introduce, please yes. give us our audience Absolutely. a general introduction, Dr. Mario Well, Fowler. first I want to thank you, uh, Dr. Dr. Kwa yes. and uh, Dana, for having me here on the show. This actually started um, based on a, a, a Facebook post that mm -hmm. I saw from Dr. Kwa about the fountain of youth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is up my alley. This is the kind of show I want to be on. But um, thank you again for having me here today. Um, I'm thrilled to, uh, to be able to address your audience. Always great to see you. And uh, in brief, my specialty was eyelid plastic surgery, a uh, very narrow area of, um, mm -hmm. of plastic surgery or uh, alternatively the narrow area of ophthalmology. Mm -hmm. I trained in both areas, but uh -huh. um, I've always liked the idea of being a specialist and really narrowing down into one area, especially when it comes to surgery. Definitely. And so my specialty was eyelid plastic surgery. And in fact, my phone number is still 1-800-EYELIDS. Oh, wow. That's, that's very cool. That's a, that's a great that's number. There was no question. I had very few calls for liposuction or rhinoplasty. <laughs> uh, I can't take full credit for the number, but... Uh, John, I was going to ask about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a fellow, and there was another surgeon I knew and back in Philly when I was in mm -hmm. medical school. He had the phone number 800, not a nose job. Oh, wow. And I thought, well, if I ever get big enough, I'm going to get me a toll-free number. Nice, too. nice. And it just so happened that it's available. eyelids is seven, uh, seven characters, uh -huh. and it was available, and I got oh, it. Oh, that's perfect. And I still that's have it today. Oh, wonderful. Um, I, I, because of the the, uh, the narrow nature of the specialty, mm -hmm. though, I chose to become uh, geographically diverse and maintain my anatomic uh, local aspects. So mm -hmm. that uh, basically, I only did eyelid plastic surgery, but I had 14 locations throughout oh, the wow. state, including one wow. in Utah for a while. Wow. So um, with that, I was able to get a significant volume of, of procedures and. Um, I did about 15,000 surgeries. Wow. Uh, but after that, I did a lot of eyes. It was a, a lot, lot of eyelids. Eyes. A lot yeah. of eyelids. A lot of window to look so, into. Yes, yeah. yes. The window <laughs> to the soul. And our yes, yes soul. exactly. Yes. Right? Yes. And uh, with that, I developed a bit of a neck issue. Mm -hmm. And so uh, oh, my okay. fingers lost sensation in oh, my left okay. hand. And they have surgery to correct it, but it's mm -hmm. a. It's relatively risky. It's Nothing, the repetitive nature of your work, exactly. right? Exactly. It's just the wear, like and tear, the wear and tear. Yeah, yeah. so that be, uh, pretty much was the end of my, uh, my, my practice a few years ago. But uh, what I realized when I stopped practicing was that I still, I still enjoyed meeting people and mm -hmm. seeing people. And that was perhaps what I missed most about mm -hmm. the practice. The surgery never got rote. It was never a routine because the goal was always perfection. Sure. When you only do sure. one thing, That's it's got to yeah, be perfect. perfect. There's no, yeah. it's like, it's, it's good enough doesn't exist in your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect mm -hmm. is what, what exists. But, but perfect, uh, you also overrate it sometimes, isn't it? That can be. It yeah, can, can be. Sure. And one yeah. of the other th things <laughs> that people say in, in in other areas and even in surgery, sometimes the enemy of good is better. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. mm -hmm. And within eyelid surgery, though, it was such a, a precise kind of mm -hmm. a, a specialty. You really could sure. shoot for perfection sure. every time. And I and I felt that was my obligation mm -hmm. to the profession mm -hmm. and to the individual Thanks. patient. But what I've done since then is I do some motivational speaking mm -hmm. on occasion. Yeah. Uh, but I do enjoy even just interacting with people and sharing my, my experiences with them. And you know what I found has been helpful in my life and what I've seen to be helpful in other people's lives. And that's really what, what caught my eye about uh, Dr. Kwa's post a while mm -hmm. back, The Fountain of Youth. Yeah. And immediately when I saw that, it reminded me of a story I've been retelling for a while now, and if I could retell it here, Please give you an idea of yeah. yeah. how it had, sort of had what sure. it had actually that's motivated me. That's the main me. thing about our show today. Our mm -hmm. topic is actually how our mental state and our attitude it can reflect our inner and outer beauty. Exactly. And it goes hand yes. in hand. And very, very right. much, much so. I think if you look good, you, it'll make you feel look good. good. Mm -hmm. But if you feel good, it'll help you look to good. look good. good. Um, so this goes back about maybe seven, eight years ago. I had occasion to. Um, uh, go up to UCLA 
for our, where I had done my training, and they had a special residence day or some type of annual uh, teaching class. And mm -hmm. I would go every year to my eyelid plastic surgery course. I call it my eyelid plastic surgery course. We started it quite some time ago, mm -hmm. and uh, I was part of it. And uh, I continued to go even though I, I no longer practice. Uh, but I'd see those people every single year. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you don't change much from day to day. Sure. You don't even sure. change much even if you see people only once a year. That's right. But you know, over a period of time, you could see the changes. Mm -hmm. So I went to this event. It was being given by the, the main speaker. The keynote address mm -hmm. was being given by uh, Dr. Cesar Chavez. Okay. I, don't mention, I don't mind mentioning him by name. He's in practice here yes. in Encinitas. Mm -hmm. And it was all about the connection between uh, diabetes, which is very prevalent yeah, in the uh, Hispanic so. community, yeah, unfortunately. And, yeah. Yeah. and of course the impact on eyes, which mm -hmm. you're oh, familiar with, you see it all the time. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. yes. And the connection mm -hmm. with that and soft drinks, the sale oh, of soft gosh. drinks, oh, and oh, sugary gosh. drinks, and, yeah. and weight and all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought, you know what, I haven't seen Cesar for years. Mm -hmm. I want to go see him, mm -hmm. you know, and I just, I just, I just drive there for the, for, the, for the day on a Friday. and. Uh, I got up there and uh, I hadn't seen mostly people for at least 10 years, if not mm -hmm. 15. Even Cesar, is that I hadn't seen. Shame? It is. So it was terrible. Yes, exactly. When, yeah, I mean, I'd it on the mm -hmm. phone, I'd see sure. them on social media. Sure. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen people uh, personally for yeah. quite some time. Uh -huh. And um, I walked in the room and uh, everyone, well, they looked older. It had been 10 or 15 mm -hmm. years. Everybody except. And you God. haven't aged at all. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, that's why he's our expert on the found of I, I have a picture, <laughs> to even prove it later. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> thank you. But everyone looked, you know, appropriately aged, not, mm -hmm. not like they'd been ridden hard and put away wet, but they all, they all, looked, they all, looked, they all looked, you know, sure. appropriately older, 10, mm -hmm. 15, but pending. Everybody except Dr. George. Mm -hmm. Dr. George was a fellow resident of mine, mm -hmm. and he had this unique personality, which I'm trying to emulate mm -hmm. all the time now, well, he would never say anything bad about anything or anyone. Wow. That's and we great. had some personalities sure. to deal with sure. in the academic community. Yeah, I'm I can, sure. I can, I'm sure. I can <laughs> sure be another, another episode. I'm but sure. But even with some of these people, he would still manage to find a way to say something positive. Uh -huh. And uh, any sort of adversity or challenge that would come through, he'd always manage to pull out that that, uh, that silver lining to the dark cloud, mm -hmm. uh, consistently, almost infuriatingly. Mm -hmm. uh, I, there was one mm -hmm. situation I had where someone was just really being, giving me a hard time for no particular reason, and he still, even with that, uh, hey, George, you can't get on, on my, <laughs> and, but I didn't need to challenge him. He was very much, well, he means well and whatever, mm -hmm. and I, okay, whatever, I just let, 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 let that go. But the take home point of this was that George hadn't aged. Mm -hmm. It was like, Bro, but you've been in a time capsule the last mm -hmm. few years. I mean, I didn't tell us to him. Well, I said, you look great. Mm -hmm. But in my own thinking, <coughs> you don't look like anybody here. You look yeah. like, you're, the, like the, you're still mm -hmm. a junior did resident. You, did, you get, did you get some tips? It, well, did, did not really. Not okay. really. I mean, but I, I do well, I, have, I, I think the key, to the mental state. Yeah, his mental yes. state. See, so I took positivity. it with that. Yes. I took it energy. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you know, that would have been mm -hmm. a, a fair and thing I, to I have think asked. Based on my philosophy of life, too. Because if you're really truly happy, it doesn't matter who you're with, where you're with, the environment, you have to be happy with it. Of course, of course. And then nobody can make you happy except yourself. Oh, yes, for sure. And then regarding the, the positivity, I always tell my kid, remember Bambi? You yes. Know the cartoon. Yes. If you have nothing nice to say, don't I'll say it. Oh, at all. Sure. that's wonderful. Right? That's don't a great quote. It it's yes. wonderful, that's a great and it's so simple. Mm -hmm. We yeah. all learned that years ago. Yes. Why people don't continue that today? I mean, all you got to yeah. do is is flash through a couple of Facebook posts, and you'll see somebody with some negative commentary. I know. No, even, not even any dog in the fight, but they yeah. want to throw their their negativity it, it, out there. But mean it when you say it. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really, for sure. For don't sure. Don't say it. Just to say it. Has to be genuine. Actually, genuine. Has to be genuine. Yeah. 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 But in reference mm -hmm. to your colleague, I think uh -huh. a lot of his not aging is this internal, you know, being. Yes. His positive energy yes. that he emulates into the universe because mm -hmm. he operates at such a high frequency. His cells vibrate at that frequency too. That's if what they I, vibrate at that frequency, he's not going to age much. Free radicals, all that cancerous stuff, it's going to be eliminated from his body. Exactly. So like exactly. they always tell people, mm -hmm. you know what? A lot of people overcome cancer not because of the medication. It's from we the all, it's from I'm the mental. I'm pre-med. You a doctor, quad doctor, but I think it all in the mind. So mm -hmm. if you strongly yes. believe yes. that you will get better, you will. and you will. A lot I know a story will. recently. And it's true. Yes. A young lady with yeah. cervical cancer, mm -hmm. a very young age, yeah. and it looks like she's beating it, and she's 
she's doing everything that the doctors are telling to, to do. I think she has some chemotherapy going mm -hmm. on, but, um, but everything else beyond that in mm -hmm. terms of, of health and sure. really taking charge of yeah. her own well-being and you know, with exercise okay. and diet and uh, supplements that are, that are deemed mm -hmm. to be safe. But uh, this joy, it was so, so, I could barely concentrate on Dr. Cesar Chavez's lecture, mm -hmm. because I'm thinking, <laughs> You're amazing, how, how does this guy look so I good? I can't believe how, <laughs> and then I started thinking back, oh yeah, you only got never I, said- I you have the one that the youngest never ate, and now <laughs> I have a competition right <laughs> now. <laughs> Dr. Powell, you have to share like with that. me a picture yeah. later of yeah, him. I will, please, I will. Please, yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I thought about him, and then, yeah, then I, I obviously, I was happy to see my friend, mm -hmm. Dr. Chavez, and uh, con con congratulate him on the honor of being mm -hmm. uh, the keynote speaker. And it was a great message mm -hmm. to send out. But uh, the whole drive back from uh, West LA, usually I would stay, mm -hmm. in, but I had things I had to do here in San Diego. So I drove back, whatever, two, two and a half hours. All I could think about was George. And I thought about that. You know, people say, you know, attitude and outlook mm -hmm. have an impact. I'm thinking, you know what? This is a living example. Now, yeah. what they call it very anecdotal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have, a, I have a, an experimental group of one person. But I thought, you know what? What if I'm wrong? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to adopt mm -hmm. George's attitude and the way he speaks about things, 100%. Mm -hmm. So with, have you done that? Yes, you yeah. yeah I no would, wonder you look 20 years younger. I know, right? <laughs> every time <laughs> I see him, he looks younger. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So, I mean, I, actually, I have a question yeah. for you. When we come to the appearance, I, I always sure. said, I'm gonna you know, be personal and ask Dr. Martin about, does appearance really play a very important role in people's attitude and behavior, or is it the other way around? Oh. And I always wanted to ask you that question. No, that's a fabulous question mm -hmm. to ask. Mm -hmm. And I think it goes both ways. I mean, I would see changes in people's personalities just from doing their eyelid surgery. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. uh, someone getting, going through a difficult personal time or, you know, facing some new competition mm -hmm. with their work and we would do their eyelid surgery and they'd come back a different person, a mm -hmm. smiley and happy. Sure. Um, and then on the other hand, I would just know people that they had beautiful eyes, so unhappy. Or that they have, you know, they might be uh, considering the surgery, but they're already, mm -hmm. you know, happy. Um, and the surgery would only be a little bit icing on mm -hmm. the cake. But I think how, um, how you feel about yourself is influenced by how you look. Mm -hmm. But I think the other is true. It, the it George Rice sure example is yeah. how, you know, how, you, how you act and how you, um, how you interact with, with, with people and mm -hmm. your attitude has an impact on how you look yeah, as well. I just want to add to that because you know, we're all made of energy and mm -hmm. our thoughts are, give out energy. And so people who have positive thoughts, you know, it just has a much more vibrational, you, know, you make people feel good and yes. people respond to that. Yes. So you know, if you treat someone well and with love, with kindness, people are going to reciprocate that. That's what you're, it's the law of attraction. Oh, for right? sure. Yeah. And so, those three things, you know, which you mentioned, mm -hmm. treat people with love mm -hmm. and, respect, kindness, and kindness, respect. respect. Those are words to live by. Wonders. I think I mentioned you mm -hmm. before we, we came on the air. It was just perfect timing. Five years ago, I posted mm -hmm. uh, a quote that's from, right. from Maya mm -hmm. Angelou. Right. Uh, today, five years ago today, mm -hmm. uh, people will forget what you said people will forget what you did, mm -hmm. but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Exactly. Definitely. And I'm thinking, if we That's keep beautiful. that in mind, That's with all of our inter interactions, that be aware of how you may be making somebody feel. Mm -hmm. Even if you have to uh, you know, reprimand a child, or you have to reprimand a colleague, mm -hmm. or you have to uh, you know, correct mm -hmm. somebody, do it with, with kindness, That's and true. do it in, in, a, in, a, a, in as a caring, yeah. and always That's with a good right. intention. Always we talked about There's that as well. There's another quote that ties along with that. People don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. I love yeah, that. Right. Another corollary. There you go. Right. Exactly, yeah. yes. It's so sure. I really like that. <laughs> right? Yeah, they always right? share love. And yes. Like, yeah. As a, a, a woman, I always tell, shared with my, do my daughter, I said, you know what? When you're happy and you're positive, it make you look attractive. Oh, true. oh for sure. Right? I totally yeah. agree. Yes, I, I yes. To I totally make, agree. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, if you're not confident and you're not happy, people look at you and like, oh my God, they don't want to be around. That person, and, yes. and even mm -hmm. if you're not pretty, like apparently, but when you're happy and you're so confident, mm -hmm. actually, it oh, makes you look pretty. very pretty. Oh, for pretty. sure, right. for pretty. sure, yeah. absolutely. You take an average looking person who just has a great outlook and a mm -hmm. great personality. And if they're confident, um, it adds they tenfold. They look great, they yep. look great. Yep. You know, and the, you add the confidence. Uh, forgetting mm -hmm. the objectivity, because you know, most of plastic surgery, 
It comes down to millimeters. I never oh, really yeah. thought about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, you're well, right. especially you know, with eyelids, uh, right? Yeah. Millimeters. Three or four, one way or another. It makes a big difference. Or a nose, you know. Mm -hmm. makes all the difference. Three or four millimeters. Really? It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. But yet we, we concentrate on that. But sure. more importantly, I think we also uh, pick up on people's vi vibrations mm -hmm. like you had actually noticed. Yeah. I think the quote that I, that I used, I, was, I had put the quote in from Maya Angelou, but I think the main one that I had as the, as the meme was how you make people feel about themselves uh, reflects on on the kind of person you are, or something to that. that, yeah, that yeah. I got to go back and check okay, it again. Sure. But, yeah. but, but, but basically, I, I'm I'm very in tune to how an interaction with somebody can uh, mm -hmm. can make them feel. See, thinking back with our history, my interactions with you have been always so positive. Whenever always, I see you, always. you light up the room, and I'm like, I feed Thank off you. I'm positive because you had the party. So <laughs> no, but still, I know that's true. Right? I always see Bobby. He's always the light of the party. Thank you. But this man is right? a walking <laughs> sunball of energy and positive energy. Thank I love you. that about you, Mark. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I think that. the world need more of that. Exactly. And I think we truly, really want to help our generation, especially the younger generation, with all the social media, the facade of the social media. We want to make sure that they understand one thing in life that if you don't have you have great intention yes go a long way mm -hmm. no for and, sure and, i and agree treat people with kindness and, and with care you want to treat them the way you want them to treat you that's all and, golden that's all golden that's rule all that's all do you want to others rule. yeah i mean people yeah. They, they talk about different uh, different religious beliefs and everything else and I have, I have no problem with all those things my basic religion is the golden rule yes do unto others as you have them do unto you Definitely. and whatever the little stories are and the fables that mm -hmm. go along there's those are all that's fine right. at the end of the day it depends on how you treat somebody right, else yeah. and if you keep in mind how would I feel if when I was uh, interviewing for med uh, for residency mm -hmm. actually in ophthalmology years ago I recall one particular interview out of all the ones I I went to not the one I ended up going I went okay. up going to, U to UCLA yeah, yes. but there was a very famous ophthalmologist who was a chief at Mount, Mount Sinai mm -hmm. and uh, I had gone to a a five-year medical program. It would cut three years off of college. Wow. We still had four years of yeah, medical wow. school, but it was the accelerated, accelerated program. Yes. Yes. And so I was younger than everybody else, mm -hmm. anywhere from you know three to four years, and some guys were even older than the average. <laughs> but I was at least three years than, yeah. than the average. And so the, the, the fellow was impressed with my, with my credentials mm -hmm. and my recommendations. He said, but I'm concerned with um, the maturity level. Mm -hmm. you know, you're three years younger, younger. than everyone else. So I'm not accusing you of anything, yeah. but, but just I'm concerned about that. And I thought sure. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I would be sure. too. You know, there, there can be maturity changes sure. from 20 to 23 mm -hmm. or 24, yeah. 25. So how old were you when you applied? Uh, 21. Wow. I was 20 oh my God. Wow. At residency at 21. Yeah. People yeah. are just graduating yeah. college. 22. Right? No, no, I was 20. Okay, yeah, 20. Oh, no, I was interviewing 21. So you're 30 now, 20. right? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. No, no, yeah. Give or take. Give or take. 32 years. Yeah. Oh, thanks for blowing my secret out for a <laughs> Isn't your best friend yeah. Benjamin Button? Yes. <laughs> a few close friends of mine call me that. I like Benjamin Button. Benjamin, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the reference. But um, so he said, well, what, what would your, your definition of maturity be? I thought, I was expecting a question like that. You asked me the layers of the cornea, the layers of mm -hmm. retina. I got that down, but not this other stuff. Yeah. Not this like heady, you know, kind of uh, you know, major life kind of question. So I thought, I thought this is going to be important. I said, well, I said, I'm not sure if this is exactly a definition of maturity, but I'll go with it. The ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Mm. And I think, wow. and to me, that, that sums up a lot. It's, yeah. sort of a, it's a corollary of the golden rule. Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, in order to treat someone as you would have them treat you, mm -hmm. you're, putting them, you're putting yourself in another person's shoes. And I thought, that's a good one. He said, yeah. that's a great one. I like yeah. that. that you know, he said, I don't ask that many people yeah. that question because yeah. most people are older than you. Yeah. And then tied to another thing, to responsibility. Oh, if to you, take responsibility. Yeah, if you, yes. you have responsible mm -hmm. and you know you're responsible for the action you make, make yeah. you always think twice before you do yeah. it. And I, I oh, know yes. the other the same. It helps. Yes, it helps for you to make wrong decision yes. at a certain time mm -hmm. that you didn't think you could yeah. to it. But yeah. I, I think responsibility That's plays great. a big role yeah. into our lives. I can well. add to that. Mm -hmm. um, I was eating mm -hmm. breakfast just the other day. There was a special on KPBS on Deepak Chopra. Uh -huh. And there was yes. this point that he mm -hmm. mentioned that I thought was profound. So he, it was saying that for every action that you do, just think what benefit it has for you or for that other person. Mm -hmm. If it, it's going to benefit them, then do it. Do it. If not, then really don't. Think. Yes. Rethink. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. I right? love it. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. You know, Before it's you do any yeah. or even say anything, just think about what manifestation you it know, can cause. Absolutely. Right? There's, a, uh, there's an acronym, THINK. 
T H I N K. Mm -hmm. Oh and it, yeah. Have you seen that? Yes, I've uh, seen it. And a couple of variations. Uh, the one I can recall uh -huh. is you know, think before you speak. Uh -huh. And the think is the T is true. True. The H I believe is helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, the I, I it might be important mm -hmm. or something it's important. Like important. important. Uh, the N, N is necessary, necessary. But the K uh, is, is the kicker. Kindness. Kind. Kindness. Is it kind? Is it before kind? you. But I think. It's, but, but what you had said with yeah. Deepak before you act. Act. Think before you yeah. act. Yep. Think, think before you, you speak. Yeah. For both yep. of those things. Mm -hmm. yep. um, but there's a. Uh, I guess I looked it up earlier today because I was curious. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a, a phrase that medical students learn. Um, and I've always attributed it to the Hippocratic Oath, uh -huh. but it's not actually in there. And it's first, do no harm. Mm. Uh, as a physician, first do no harm. It's not in the Hippocratic it, No, it's so there's a so slight very, along that, there's a variation that. on yeah. things, yeah. but yeah. those yeah. those yeah. precise yeah. words yeah. Exactly. aren't yeah. there. No but harm. but but the but the sense is there. Yeah. I'm thinking, you know, it doesn't have to be limited to doctors and their yeah. interactions with Definitely. patients. It can be yes. to with everybody. Why not just human yes. beings. Yes. Exactly. Like first, go for every first human do being. no harm. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. If you're in, yeah. a, in a situation, I was just had the privilege of being in Las Vegas this past Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, two of my friends were being honored with oh. a Walk of Stars. Right. So sort of their uh, Vegas's version of the mm -hmm. Walk of Fame mm -hmm. in Hollywood yes. uh, for producing a movie called Wish Man, mm -hmm. based on the story of this lovely man named Frank Shankowitz, who had started the Make a Wish Foundation. Mm -hmm. And this fellow, Greg Reed, is a very well-known, very gracious fellow, and excellent motivational speaker. He took it upon himself to produce this movie. And um, one of the lines in the movie was uh, when the, the young man had a terrible, a very, very difficult life, this Frank Shankowitz, and somebody set about to help him. Yeah. Um, his, parents, when his parents had separated and dis disappeared, and um, this fellow took him on as his, mm -hmm. his own. And in the movie, Frank asked, well, you know, why would you do this? He said, and the fellow who took him on said, "Well, if you can help somebody, you should." Mm -hmm. Yes. You and I never, I didn't forget that line. Yeah. In fact, I may be misquoting it slightly, but but the intention was there. In fact, I saw mm -hmm. Frank. I said, "What was that line that the guy muttered to you or you know, mentioned to you? Yeah. you know, if you can help someone, and yeah. you know, there were so many like that." Yeah. But I said, "Is this close?" Is yeah, that's close that's, enough. Yeah. But if you can help someone, do. do. And this is what I said to. I, I, I beside that, I always said, "If you have the opportunity to help someone, don't think." Yes, mm -hmm. that's even better. That's think. even better. Like, be, because you, when you help someone, you don't pick and choose who to help. If it's meant to be, they there for mm -hmm. you and they need help, yes. you just help. Mm -hmm. No question asked. Yeah. And, and that's, I always yeah. remind my that's daughter great. the same. And sometimes we will take unsafety thing to our life, but so, you know, at the end of the day, the intention is we want to save someone that in need of help. Yes. And that's the key. And then people always say, I want to change the world. Why don't you change one person's world first? Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Start with yes. the man in the mirror. Thank yes. you, Michael Jackson, yes. for that. And, and you know, I, I want to, to say before Kwa is going to close in on our uh, session today that we should invite him back. Oh, definitely. And, and, and we, we can go for it. Yeah. I would uh, love to yeah, come yeah, back. Yeah, to have you back. I think it's really problem. helpful for our generation, for our older generation, our new generation, to really continue on the kindness that we tend to forget yes. each day because we're too busy, we're too fast paced, and we forget. What, what we truly really here to really help mm -hmm. others. And the second thing is I never really personally know you. We always met at a party and yes. today I actually like you a little more. <laughs> Thank you. So, Thank you. So I hope you keep that up. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that. Right. So uh, yes. Uh, I want to thank VNTV and I wish to put some closing thoughts. I want to talk, thank Dr. Marty Fowler yes, for your of insight. Course. Thank that was you. beautiful. I want you to t introduce your friend Benjamin Bunn to us maybe yes. next time. <laughs> talk, to him, talk more about him. I, I, in reference who don't know, yes. Meet Benjamin Bunn is a movie with Brad Pitt and it's basically uh -huh. a man who was born old and then aged to you. Mm -hmm. So this is the man. <laughs> 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 He's still in his mid early Based stages. Based on my life. He's going, he's going, every time I see him, he's going younger and younger. Yeah. But, um, Thank you. You make, you make 30 look 15. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. I'm going to personally try to learn as much from him. And of Thank course, you. from my beautiful co-host, Dana. She's always sharing her wisdom. And she's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I, I really appreciate you, your support, VNTV. And uh, please give us your feedback and uh, whatever topics you want us to cover. And uh, thank you again, Dr. Marty Fowler. Thank you, and Dr. Kwa. Yeah. Appreciate so the opportunity. Pleasure. And I'll see you again. We definitely thank will have you. you back. And thank you for joining us. Wonderful. Thank have you. Have a great day, have everyone. Have a great day, everyone. Yes. And have a great weekend. Yes.